Today I'm gonna talk about what is the no-code revolution. Let's go! Hey guys, welcome to the We Are No Code channel. My name is Caio. I'm the chief no code officer here at We Are No Code. And inside this channel, we talk all about the no code space and we talk about no code tools as well. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what is the no code revolution. Do you know what this is? Are you aware of this new movement, this no code revolution that everyone is talking about? And don't worry if you never heard about no code tools before. It is a good thing that you are here watching this video video right now because I'm sure you are going to like this a lot. So what is no code? So basically in a very short and summarized way, no code is actually building applications, building software in a visual way. This means you don't have to code yourself or you don't have to have coding skills or you don't need to be a developer to be able to build software, to build applications like apps, websites, marketplaces, SaaS products, and much more. So basically there is a new breed of tools, a new category of tools that are called no no code tools. These tools, they kind of visually allow you to build software in a visual way. So basically you just drag and drop components and then with plain English, sometimes you create some logic and then you give birth to applications like that in a visual way. So all you have to do is to learn how to use those tools, which are basically tools like any other tool that you use on a computer, like Photoshop, for example. It's not the same, of course, but in terms of visuals, it's very similar, like for example, to Canva or even Microsoft Excel, for instance, but of course, way more powerful than Excel itself. By the way, no code is replacing Excel and some other tools like that. Basically, in a summarized way, no code is a new way to build software and to build software in a visual way, removing the complexity or the learning curve of having to understand coding languages. Okay, so that's what no code is. And what is the no code revolution? then. Well, the no-code revolution or the no-code movement is a movement where people, makers, entrepreneurs, whatever you want to call them, are discovering about no-code tools and learning how to use no-code tools to be able to build startup ideas, to be able to build software, to be able to build apps and start their own startup business ideas by themselves. And this is a great revolution. Why? Because more and more people now want to become self-reliant. They want to build their own startup ideas. They want to build a tech business, a tech company, they want to become entrepreneurs. So this is unlocking a lot of possibilities for people who are non-technical and also not only people who are non-technical, but people who at some point of their journey started learning code and then figured out that it wasn't their thing. Because code, let's be honest, takes a lot of time for you to learn. And also it's not something that everyone really enjoys. Like for example, myself, I am not really that person that likes to deal with code all day long, staring at a black screen and typing, typing, typing. I'm more of a visual person. That's why I became a designer a couple years ago, more than 17 years ago, but let's forget about that. So I was not the typical kind of person that wanted to learn code myself. I actually learned a little bit here and there, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, some basic languages that can allow you to build like websites, for example. But even knowing a little bit of that, which was already kind of difficult for me to learn, I couldn't build much. So if you are non-technical, completely non-technical, or if you are a frustrated person that at some point started learning code, but realized that this wasn't your thing, or even you knew code a couple years ago, but got outdated by the new technologies, the new languages out there, and you kind of stopped in time and now you don't know how to code anymore, no code could be a very good solution for you because, well, lower learning curve, so there is not a long, big learning curve. Of course, if you want to become a professional no code developer as a profession, there are lots of things you need to learn and it could take a couple time, but compared to learning code, it will be way way less time consuming for you to learn the skills needed to build applications. So this, in a summary, is basically not only allowing people that couldn't code or don't want to code or don't want to invest the time to code to be able to learn these simplified no-code tools because just they are visual. This simplifies a lot of the learning process, but they are not just because they are 
visual, they are not like less powerful than code. Of course, depends on what exactly you are comparing, but like the no code tools allow you to build powerful applications. Nowadays, like it's already possible to build a lot of kinds of applications, apps, marketplaces, SaaS products. Of course, if you want to build a very complex type of application, it will require you a little bit more deeper understanding about no code tools. But like to build simple stuff, like it's going to be a no brainer. Like you can learn basically in a couple weeks or months, depending on how much you know already about technology and how fast you learn as well. But like after going through this process, you'll be able to create very interesting kinds of applications. And later you can improve your game and be able to develop like crazy, massive kinds of applications and very good, reliable applications that work. They are secure. They can handle a lot of users as well. So it's game changing. So if you want to join the no code revolution, this no code movement, I have a special invitation for you. We created a new platform called We Are No Code Academy. Inside the platform, we have entrepreneurship courses and also no code tool courses, tutorials and step by step guides. So you can start learning not only no code, but also entrepreneurship skills. Besides that, we also have a community of global founders all around the globe trying to become entrepreneurs and learn no code themselves. So you can ask questions, interact. We also have networking sessions, discounts for major no code tools, and also information about no code tools. So you can learn the fundamentals of entrepreneurship and also get started into the no code space. All that with a very affordable price for you to join today. So if you are interested in knowing more about the We Are No Code Academy, don't forget to check the link down below in the comment section. Click there, check the information on the website and join today. I see you inside the We Are No Code Academy. Let's go. So basically the no code movement and the no code revolution means lots of new tools coming up that are visual tools that allow you to build software in a visual way and people using those tools. So the adoption of those tools. So these tools started a couple years ago. They started in a very early stage, very simplified version. So at that time, a few years ago, it was just replacing a little part of the development process, the traditional development process where like a designer would design the layout, then would use some no code tool to build that first version and then give it to the developer. The developer would handle the code generated by that tool and then further develop the project, add more features. That was what was happening in the past, like 10 years ago. From that time to now, like these tools developed a lot and they are now capable of building full mobile apps, building SaaS products, building dashboards, marketplaces, social networks, like even clones like Uber, Airbnb, Twitter, Facebook. So you could use no code tools to replicate similar existing applications, famous applications like the ones I mentioned, only using no code tools. So this revolution has been gaining traction over the years. The no code tools also are evolving over the years. And this is opening a lot of possibilities because now instead of you having, like, for example, to hire developers from day zero to build your application for you. Like, oh, I have an idea of a business I want to build. Oh, then the next step is I want to hire a developer to build that for you. And then you get uh, very overwhelmed with the quotes you receive. Or if you go after agencies, you will get like quotes like, oh, okay, you want to build this application. It's going to cost you 100K and it's going to take you months, several months and years sometimes to build the whole application. Now with no code tools, what you can do instead of hiring agencies or developers and paying that huge amount of money up front without even knowing if your idea is going to be successful in the market once you launch. You can use no code tools to build it yourself. If you are the kind of entrepreneur, the maker entrepreneur, you could learn no code tools first. And then once you have the skills, you will build it yourself. So you don't have to pay anyone to build it. You can build as you need. And if in the future, if you need to do updates, you can do it yourself. So you kind of can save this money, this investment that you would have to make to hire someone to build and then build it yourself, plus acquire this valuable skill to be able to run your own business and build as many applications or software you want to build. So this also gives you a lot of flexibility and freedom to be able to build yourself. Now, if you don't have the time to learn or if you don't want to learn, you can also hire
hire someone that knows the skills, that knows how to use local tools to build that for you. And I'm sure it's going to be way cheaper than actually hiring a developer or hiring an agency. In fact, there are a couple agencies right now that already build with local tools. And just to be honest with you, like the price will not go like amazingly low because of course these people also have their own expenses and everything. So it will usually be a little bit lower than agencies and other development services like that use other developers that use traditional methods, but it will be like 20, 30% less. It will not be for free. So it is important to have that in mind. It will be a little bit cheaper, but it won't be for free just because it's no code. So please be reasonable with no code professionals as well. So you have now basically options. If you are the maker, the entrepreneur that want to do it yourself, you can learn the skills, you can learn no code tools and you can do it yourself. And that's amazing. That's the revolution. That is an alternative path. Before you only had this option, like I have an idea, I need someone to build that for me and it's going to be with code. It's going to be the traditional way and it's going to cost a lot and take a lot of time. Now with no code, you have the option to learn yourself, build yourself, save time, save money or hire someone to build that for you and also save money because usually the time spent to build with no code will be way less than building with traditional code. So when you actually even hire someone to do that for you, I'm sure the time needed to develop and deliver the application for you will be less than actually hiring other types of services that use traditional developing methods. So that's the idea of the future we envision, right? Look, we have AI, we have so many things coming up to make our lives easier, to save us time, money. So no code has the same concept, the same idea to make technology easier, more affordable and to make it more accessible for everyone. So it's a revolution that if you are in that stage, if you are wanting to build a business, if you don't have a lot of money to invest, but you believe in your idea and you want to have an alternative path to make that become a reality, no code can be a very good allied, very good solution for you to use and to go one step further in your journey. So that's the no code revolution. I'm enjoying it it so much. It's growing constantly here at We Are No Code. We are also helping spread the word about this revolution. So if you want to be part of this movement of this no code revolution, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future video that we are going to be posting here at We Are No Code. And also like the video if you liked the content. If you're just getting started on your no code journey, make sure to watch all the other videos we have here available inside the We Are No Code channel. I'm sure you're going to learn a lot from the other videos we created for you. That's it from me today. Thanks so much for watching and I see you on the next video. Let's no code.